Namaste everyone. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how you can really inspire yourself to really do anything you want in your life. My name is Priya. I'm very passionate about sharing positivity, empowering others to live their life to their fullest. We're all creators. We have the capability to create our life the way we want. So let's make it beautiful together. Let's dive in. So I don't know if you can exp um, um, really relate to this experience, but there's at least one point in time I feel like many of us would have went through some level of experience where we just don't feel like getting out of bed. We don't feel like doing anything. We don't feel interested in doing anything. Um, nothing really inspires us at certain time. There, obviously, most of the time we find something, but there's a certain time in our life where we just feel like, oh, nothing is interesting to me. Nothing, I don't feel like doing anything or I don't know what to do. We go through that stage. Um, and so when you go through that stage, it's really important to put that effort to inspire yourself, inspire your soul to really get up and um, really sparkle because that's what you're meant to do. Um, and if you leave yourself to really not do anything about it and be in that state of not being inspired, not being um, interested in anything, that you will find if you just leave it that way, it will prolong for a longer period and you will really waste many months, even years of your life um, without doing anything because you'll just be bored the whole time. So instead of that, next time if that happens, really inspire yourself by doing certain things that can really help you to find that inspiration again. So number one is really to focus on learning something new. And sometimes you know you want to learn something new, but you don't know, you don't actually put it, put it into action. So if you're in that stage, just really push yourself to get out of your comfort zone, get out of whatever um, zone you're in and, and really focus on learning something new that will, that's interesting for you because you'll always know that you wanted to do this. You wanted to do that. I wanted to learn a new language. I wanted to learn cooking. I wanted to try something new, whatever you wanted to try, put that effort, uh, plan it out, organize it and really put action towards it rather than leaving it. Once you really push yourself to do that, whatever, when you're learning something new, it will inspire you to continue and uh, wake up and look look forward to something because you're you you know you have something new to look forward to um, so learning something new is definitely inspirational and you just need to find out what you want to learn um, and don't put too much time thinking about it rather it's better to try something and know that no this is not for you than just sit sit around and hoping um, that you'll figure out something will work out for you so just keep keep uh, trying and figuring out um, and try something new um, that you wanted to do and that will inspire you. The second thing is really getting yourself out in the nature. Nature will inspire everyone um, and it could be anything. You could be a, 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 a sand person or you could be a mountain person, an ocean person, whatever person you are or you, could, you might want to be surrounded by trees or animals, whatever it is, just get yourself out in the nature and whatever really inspires Inspires you because nature always inspires people. So whichever nature is inspiring you, get out there every day, even if it's 10, 10, 15 minutes of a walk, wherever it is, just go there and spend some time to get inspired because that will really help you bring that life, um, the life within you, um, within your soul back and you'll feel that spark. So that's another way. The third way is to really, um, get creative. So if I know a lot of people, you know, either you're very artsy or not, but regardless if you feel like you're good at something or not, just be creative because only you're the one that's going to look at it unless it's really good and you want to showcase it. That's, that's all right as well. But other than that, be creative within your own space and try something out. If it's painting, try painting or make something out of a craft paper or um, do some woodwork, whatever inspires you, try doing something creative because once you get that creativity within you to uh, wake up, you'll get that creative creativity juice to actually look forward to something and 
live your life um, even better. So that will inspire you to uh, wake up in the morning and um, really live your life. So that's, um, that's another point. Um, and finally, um, not the final point, one more point is um, really be surrounding yourself with uh, people who inspire you. So people who are doing what you wanted to do or um, even if it's not exactly the same, but people who you feel like are really achieving um, what they want to do and who are inspiring you that way. Um, uh, surround yourself to them because that will make you realize what uh, the amount of work they're putting in, um, how enthusiastic they are, how their energy is, and your energy will start aligning with that. And finally, really read and watch movies and um, read articles or YouTube videos, whatever it is that's really inspirational. So whatever inspires you, keep um, observing and um, really being aware of what inspires you and then that way you learn from it and every time you watch something or read something that's inspiring it will it will wake that spark within you up as well and you'll be um, really able to get up the next morning and be really happy to do what you wanted to do so these are just few tips i wanted to share with you i hope this video was helpful for you if it was please click the like button share this video with others if you're new to my channel please subscribe and click the notification button as i'm very determined to creating weekly videos for you guys to empower you to live the best version of you until then namaste